uh, Iranian office at the UN, the United States actually uh, uh, doing reconnaissance on, on the New York City subway system. They expelled from the country. We know from, I believe, it's fairly clear, of a number of uh, uh, representatives of the Quds Force who would be involved in Washington and also in, uh, in New York. So I think that is a clear signal and a clear action that should be taken now. And also, as General McCall said, I think it's essential that we begin to enforce sanctions against Iran's uh, central bank. Uh, these would send clear signals. And also, I think it's important to say that nothing should be taken off the table. The, the Iranian bungled operation to use proxies to assassinate the Saudi Arabian ambassador to the United States and to purposely plan the operation inside the United States is a stunning rebuke to the Obama administration's policy of negotiation and isolation with the Iranians. Indeed, Republican and Democratic administrations since 1980 have failed to deal effectively with the harsh reality that Iran is our number one strategic enemy in the world. The action arm for Iran's state sponsorship of terrorism outside of their borders is led by General Qasim Soleimani, who has been in charge for over 15 years. General Soleimani has no military or political boss. He answers to only one person, the supreme leader in Iran, Khomeini. We must conclude that for General Soleimani to plan an operation inside the United States that would result in Americans being killed, surely the supreme leader at a minimum approved the plan and may in fact direct it. All that said, it is time to review our strategy for Iran. First and foremost, begin to treat Iran as, a, as the strategic enemy they truly are. And as such, develop a strategic competitive framework that counters every major interest the Iranian regime engages in. As an example, seize the financial assets which are outside of Iran much as we did with the Al-Qaeda. Limit their ability to trade by denying their ships entry to ports around the world. Limit the ability of their central bank to operate effectively. And I think you mentioned we need to treat Iran as a strategic enemy. Uh, I agree with that. And so to, our, to, um, to both the general and the colonel, what do you think should be the proper response uh, to deal with Iran? Well, as I said in my remarks, that step one is to recognize them as our strategic enemy and therefore use all the elements of national power as such to push against that enemy. Uh, so I'm suggesting that we get comprehensive and holistic about what we're doing. I, I'm not suggesting for a minute that we start with some small things and then lead up to larger things. I'm saying we put our hand around their throat right now in every interest that they have. Why are we permitting the Quds Force leaders who have been organizing this killing of us for 30 years to go around still walking around? Why don't we kill them? We kill other people who are running terrorist organizations against the United States. These guys have killed almost a thousand of us. Why don't we kill them?